There's this, there's this real um, suspicion of authority in, in the United States. And so, you know, one of, one of the things that sort of led to the Second Great Awakening um, in American religious history, which is really the kind of um, most obvious historical moment that led to the kinds of, of, of creationist evangelicals I'm, I'm, I study in, in, in this book, um, the Second Great Awakening came out of suspicion of, of ministers. Right, saying, who are these ministers to tell me how to read the Bible? Who are these elite East Coasters to tell me how to read the Bible? I can just read the Bible fine on my own. I don't need anyone else to tell me how to do it. But you know what, uh, what historians point out is that this was not just about ministers. It was also about lawyers. It was about government officials. It was certainly about medical doctors. And so there was a general suspicion of elites and this real sense that like, y who you think you're better than me? I mean, and so this is, this, is, this is what Tocqueville described when he talked about democracy in America, is that democracy in America has this kind of underbelly to it where there's, a, there's a, the obsession with equality has this really lovely effect, but it also has this dangerous effect in that it insists on a kind of intellectual equality, such that expertise is suspicious, right? Who are you to tell me the vaccines aren't true? I know what's good for my baby, right? Like that's not just a religious thing. That's a very old American sensibility um, that, you know, and in some ways, obviously predates Tocqueville in the Jacksonian era, but was very important in the early 1800s.